Mr. Chairman, Ministers, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, welcome to the seventh chilly day at Mansion House. I am particularly pleased the Lord Mayor is travelling today because it means I get to do it instead. And I have been to at least six out of the last seven chilly days myself. My father was Argentinian and often said that if only he'd been born in Chile instead, the family fortunes wouldn't have been lost to rampant inflation in the 1930s and 40s. But there we are. I wish I'd been Chilean instead. Uh, as usual, it is our honor to host you here at the very heart of the square mile. As usual, we have brought together a range of people from business, from government, friends and partners from both Chile and the United Kingdom. And as usual, we meet to reaffirm and strengthen the social and economic ties that are naturally there and have been for decades or centuries between Chile and the UK. It was an honor, as I say, that the Lord Mayor wanted to have for himself, but he's traveling in Eastern Europe talking heavily about UK financial, financial services in the current circumstances, <clears throat> which I will not refer to Brexit anymore. But he, uh, he sends his apologies and his very best wishes for a successful event. The City of London, through its Lord Mayor, has been to Chile three times in the past six years. I was one of them four years ago when I saw for myself the scale of the opportunities that are, that are on offer to UK companies and the goodwill of Chilean interests to try and make those business opportunities happen. Four years on, I think those opportunities shine as brightly as ever. The OECD say that Chile's economic growth, wage growth and exports will strengthen in 2018, nurtured, of course, by supportive monetary policy and greater investment in health and education, with GDP somewhere around 3% expected in 2017-18. The Chilean government, the businesses and people all deserve credit for this progress, set against the background of an enviable, enviable credit rating of AA. And we in the city, we would love to help, we must help, and we would like to see that that progress continue. UK expertise can help to rebuild after the awful flooding and the wildfires of the last 12 months. We know about flooding in the United Kingdom. We're not so hot on wildfires, but we absolutely have expertise in that area. We can identify and accelerate responsible mining deals. And of course, since UK fund managers helped to grow some five, billion, five trillion pounds in financial assets, our thriving capital markets make this the best place in the world for companies to raise capital and boost their profile, especially through things like the growing green finance market, supporting global objectives on climate change while meeting investor demands on sustainable, responsible investments. That's why two thirds of the Fortune 500 companies have their European headquarters here, joined by Europe's largest insurance market and some 250 international banks based here. Chilean companies are already valued members of this family. Antofagasto is famously the longest listed international company on the London Stock Exchange, joining in 1888. Um, I know that we have had seven chilly days. I'm absolutely sure I've mentioned that fact, or it has been mentioned at least seven times since we started. More recently, Rain Energy joined the small and medium enterprise market in April 2014. Like all UK listed firms, they all benefit from a time zone spanning the global business day, an unparalleled breadth of specialist advisors, gold standard regulation, and corporate governance, and a unique choice of markets to suit every stage of a company's life cycle. It's very good, by the way, to see Jeffrey Evans here, Lord Mount Evans, who was Lord Mayor last year and was himself in Chile. I'm sure many of you know him and will make a beeline to go and uh, tackle his expertise on Chile in particular. And ladies and gentlemen, in case anybody was wondering, Brexit may well change things, but this isn't one of them. And I, I myself work at the Swedish bank, SEB, based just by St. Paul's Cathedral, and I'm personally involved in a wide range of projects here in London, like our Green Finance Initiative. The Association of Foreign Banks is one of my duties and the International Business and Diplomatic Exchange. And I'm absolutely certain, although Brexit will be a challenge and a complex one at that, our institutions are adaptable, and our brand is strong. And I can assure you, we will be striving to benefit UK financial services all the way. And I really think British exporters of goods and services are raring to go. They're keen to create new partnerships and strengthen old ones. And Chile Day is the perfect place to start. This is an opportunity to build a stronger future for both our countries, creating jobs, growth, and prosperity, and discussing how to maximize the many opportunities that lie ahead. So it's very good to see you here. I wish you a very enjoyable and productive chilly day. Thank you.